Iqbal. Tamin mean Iqbal, that is the opener. They need to get off to a stable start. It's about batting time here as a frontline spinner. That one through to the keeper. I think they'll be thinking back to, well, it's over a year ago now when they took on it. Oh, that's a great shot through the covers. It's a nice way to get the Bangladesh run chase underway. It was a quality stroke. And as I said before the break, they're known for their batting more than their bowling. So the staff, the Australian coaching staff, were pegging things out. They were putting markers out here, and the Australians came out for most of the lunch break, practicing their bowling, practicing their thinking, practicing their throwing, and their intensity out here. We'll, we'll see something special. They think they've got enough. Bangladesh probably think they've got it covered. It's going to be a good afternoon. I think the commentators are back from lunch too. Marshall in the middle order. They're the two key players. We've got a one day hundred and seven fifties. He's got a knack of scoring his runs quickly when Bangladesh need it, particularly in a small chase like this. And two runs from the first over. Good night, Australia's got one. I might look for two here. Well, I'm with you, Simon O'Donnell. I, there's nothing from those replays to bat well. It should be a wide. And it's called. At some stage, I just need to talk about that. I, I'm not comfortable with it. We can chat about that later. One thing I can tell you, he didn't get it. Now, it's Tamim going over point. And Johnson won't get there. Now a life for Ashraful and then a boundary to Tamim. It's the talent of these two batsmen is to get on with the game, and that's exactly what they're doing. They shouldn't adjust for the situation. If it's there to be hit, they're confident of getting full purchase on it. Well, that's what they should do. Good to see neither batsman getting intimidated by the situation itself. Spinners also tied down the Indian middle order. And in that game, Tamim came out, made a 51 or 53 balls in a partnership of, uh, of what was out of 69 when he got out. So he was the one who got them started in the run chase. It was an understatement. That's through. A couple more there. I have thoughts of that drop catch last over still in his mind as that one goes by him. He'll live every run that Ashraful makes from now on. Six from the over. One for 13, Bangladesh. His bouncer goes very close to your scone. His Yorkers are generally right on the mark. So is his in-swing a lot we see just then. Keeps the pressure on Bangladesh. They're two for 17. One settle the top order of Bangladesh. That's through. That'll be four. Nice shot, that. Tamar. To me, should I say, he goes to 16. He was in complete control of what he was doing. To me, Mick Bell. Continuing. Another swing and a miss. To continue in the commentary box will be Ian Chappie. He took a very smart catch. Back live. At the moment, they just need to take. There's a single, and it'll be a handy one for Iqbal to get to the other end. Mitchell Johnson. That one should find the boundary rope. That's a low full toss. Not time though, so it's pulling up rapidly, and they'll come back for two. Some reason. Mostly work to the onside.
and replay. That's a big shot down the ground. Didn't quite get hold of it. They'll come back for two. Slight hesitation, but get back comfortably. Very much with the spinners. Bangladesh. Now we've we've said all along. And if they if they're going to swing like the barn door, that's runs in Australia. Not a bad start here by David Hussey. He hasn't bowled a lot at this level. Only a couple of overs prior to this. Oh, 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 Two from it. Three for 43. Oh, mate, Out there. Does he get another chance? He's coming around. One bounce. The bat is being... Dave Hussey continuing. First over went for two, so we'll uh, keep going. And not a bad move by Michael Clark. Gets through his overs quickly as well. But given it's a two-man power play, needing only two. It's obviously uh, decided to bowl a bit more. Bowling, bowling, nice. I don't know what's required and there's no messing about that one is no, 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 no. I was going to say eased into the covers well not eased there's in a positive fashion a little bit of luck for them at the moment it'll be a little circumspect at times so in other words the zone is about 22 meters He's gone in the air and he's gone safely in the air. It's going to run into the fence and there's this attacking style that we know that Tamim possesses. We don't get to see it too often. But this might just be his day. Mitchell Johnson proving very expensive. At least he was hitting straight on that occasion. He was quite convinced as he's just stood there and admired it, that he'd hit it uh, pretty close to the middle, and he was right. And that's nicely clipped to the onside. That's a good shot. It's uh, all about timing. And it was there to hit there, and he gets it away. So a nicely controlled stroke. Same. Today, he probably felt he was unlucky to pick out the fieldsman, but... When he got that 100 against Australian card, he played the same, in the same manner and got away with it that day. That one flicked over mid-wicket. And guess who? It's Tamim again. Moves into the 40s. I mean, that was a good, sensible shot. That, there was a bit of rhyme or reason to that, and it was a pretty secure shot. He was just hitting with a little bit of swing, hitting it into a nice open area. And well and truly clearing the infield. So there's no problem with shots like that. But he needs to cut out some of the wild ones. He <laughs> smashed that one. He's going to keep motoring. He's hit off, got a good hand on it, but it's he's down India in a huge upset. It was right at the start of the World Cup, and then he kept trying to bat in the same manner. I don't think he got another run. But if it's his day, like we're witnessing now, he's an explosive little player. Well, maybe he's got a scent of glory. Brad Haddon is now up to the stumps. Yeah, maybe he's he's got that feeling that... Uh, I think just think today's my day and uh, there's going to be some glory around for Bangladesh if we get there and I want to be part of it.
But I'm not sure that he's got in mind still being there when the target is passed. I think he's going to be still leaving a few for his teammates. That's some control. Just works it down to third man. Nicely played. 51 deliveries. They're scoring their runs in quick time at the moment. And uh, it's good to see. There's nothing that brings confidence more quickly than uh, getting some out of the middle of the bat, especially when they go for four. And they haven't hit any sixes yet, but uh, Australians managed ten fours in their innings. Bangladesh have got nine so far. On there, that's flicked away off the middle of the bat, bouncing away down towards the boundary, well fielded. Bracken just dragging that one back. And then you can bat much more normally and with more control, which is what we're seeing now. That beautiful pull shot from, or hook shot from last over, and now that flick from the, the leg side with Watson delivering it. It's well fielded, it's smashed into the covers. Tamim Iqbal, 47 or 51 deliveries. It's been entertaining stuff. Australia have to get it back really tight here, otherwise there's danger. Plays that shot well, actually, just a little steer down. The lefties have got away with all their risks until that first full shot by Shakib brought his downfall. Through the offside and it'll take him to 49 and what's more, he'll keep the strike. Bangladesh, 4 for 84. And will this be half century? No, sensible calling. Very in the middle of Marara. Thinking about a single that time, but uh, hey, Bill, and some used to it. And there it is. In comes the throw. No one at the stumps over the top. And that's uh, a very well played half century. So Tamim Iqbal, 50 or 57 deliveries, four fours in the inning so far. And six one day internationals in Australia for Bangladesh. That's the first 50. Little piece of history. Can he go one better? And that right to the very end. Four for 85 at the moment. Well played. Beautiful shot. Bounces twice. Over the boundary for four at mid wicket. Yeah, straight mid wicket. We saw. Shakib just uh, become dismissed by going too square. Let's have a look, con compare the line, same line, same line, even wider, he's gone straighter. Not tried to get it over square leg, just stood and delivered, brilliant. Now Hopes has got to get his length right, a little fuller maybe. Well this time it's full, and don't worry about full, it's disappeared. Shot. His uncle is a former captain of the Bangladesh team. His brother has played for Bangladesh. And he can hit him, that's for sure. Look at this. Whack straight. Lovely shot, and that's the uh, straight hit down the ground for him. Bouncing away for four. Some lovely drives. 30 overs left. And Goss can hang around. He, he looks technically okay. In the... Pitched outside leg stump. That's a nice drive, but uh... struck some really nice drives. There was a period where his batting was just wild and woolly, but then he he settled down 
it showed you what he can really do because he's got some very good shots. Yes, if he can find that balance, you can see him being an excellent player of the future. He's a good player now. He's timed the ball better than anyone throughout this game. You get the feeling it hasn't been the easiest pitch to bat on. Australian innings will tell you that. And he's 19 years old to be big ball. He's got shots all around the ground. He's played a couple of hooks. He's a good driver of the ball through the offside. Picks the ball up early enough. We have to if he plays those sorts of those sorts of strokes. As Ian Chappell said, he's just got that tendency to go for everything at the start of his innings. And it's good when it comes off, but unfortunately it comes off about one in every ten. It's that balance right between being aggressive and, uh, and reckless. He's going to be a great player. Michael Clark uh, keeping plenty of fieldsmen in on. James Hopes has made a bit of a mess of this middle order. That's the hundred up for Bangladesh. What? What it's all? Here's a chance at third man, Stuart Clark, and he's taken at the big man. Well, there've been a few opportunities down there at uh, third man. Finally, the Australians have grabbed one. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's Tommy McBall who's played really well for his country today. 63, he made. He really had to go for it. He's losing parts at the other end. I got the feeling he was trying to get that over the fence, by the way. He really went after it. And then in the end, he got it high on the bat, ballooned it down to Stuart Clark. So the end of a really good innings, Bell falls for 63, 8 for 103.